Rohingya crisis originating in Myanmar not only poses a threat to security across South Asia, but will also hinder regional cooperation among the neighbors. One country that has a history of fueling insurgencies and tension in the region is Pakistan and its intelligence agency, ISI. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's political affairs advisor Hussein Taufiq Imam shared this in an exclusive interview with Beyond's Bangladesh Bureau Chief Saad Hamadi. Here are a few excerpts from the conversation. Recent report in uh, some of the media that suggests that uh, the uh, Rohingya insurgent groups may be conspiring with the opposition in Bangladesh and the intelligence of Pakistan to uh, hatch attacks in, uh, in, the, in the government or uh, in Bangladesh. Now, how credible are these threats, if you could share with us? You see, given the, um, given the background and what they did in the past, see, the nexus, as was seen in August 2004, and the past uh, activities of these people, you can uh, presume that they are not sitting idle. They must be hatching something. And uh, only recently, a few days back, um, one of the staunch supporters of BNP, uh, the retired Major General Fazlur Rahman, he came out with a suggestion that we should not only give shelter to the Rohingyas, but we should create a Rohingya army and that will go and um, uh, uh, that will create their own land in uh, Rakhine province and that will be an independent Rakhine and, uh, state that we should support. But these are all, in, not only in my opinion, but others also who have any saner views, they would say this is atrocious idea. Because what they are trying is, that is very, uh, that's quite um, obvious, what they are trying is, uh, Last evening I heard some of the comments by some BNP leaders. Uh, they say that Bangladesh should have done much more. What else can be done? You see, the international support that we have garnered, the, then the international support, the ovation that was given to Bangladesh Prime Minister in the United Nations, even uh, the United States now, uh, along with the United Kingdom, Britain, France, and all other seven members of the Security Council, they convened a meeting of the Security Council to discuss Rohingya issues for a, a third time in if, um, uh, so many days. And uh, it is something there that the entire world, the, you must have seen, heard the uh, remarks by the French President Macron or the English, the British Prime Minister, Mrs. Theresa May. They came out very strongly. All the uh, UN agencies, you have seen the pictures that have been taken uh, by the UNHCR and others by through drone and from her satellite. The Amnesty International had taken the pictures. So they are all coming in support in a very large manner, which they didn't do uh, before. This time around, I think we have been able to really make it an international issue. And we have been able to uh, get this international support that has been done through the personality and also the relentless work that is being done by our Prime Minister and our other people. And our diplomacy has been very successful. And moving on, Israel's High Court on Wednesday ruled on a petition against the country's weapons sales to Myanmar. The United Nations has declared that the government of Myanmar is engaging in ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya. The court decision has been kept a secret because the judges issued a gag order in it at the request of the state. Every Israeli company that seeks to sell weapons to foreign countries needs to receive approval from the state. However, the state has not confirmed or denied whether there is a permit to sell arms to Myanmar. The situation of the Rohingya has deteriorated in the recent weeks. So 480 Rohingya have fled Myanmar and moved to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.